King John died in 1216, a year after signing the Magna Carta, and left his kingdom in the hands of his son, Henry III, at the age of nine. Due to his young age, a council of barons aided him as king and helped him rule. When he was old enough to rule himself, he did so in an unpredictable way. He was reported living in an extravagant lifestyle, but always short of money. Much like his father, Henry lost two major wars in France and lost key land to the invaders as a result of not listening to his advisers. The barons thought that history was repeating itself and decided to take action against him, as they had John. Simon de Montfort was an English nobleman of French origin who had lost land in France as a result of Henry's defeat in the war. He led the barons to confront the king and make him agree to their decrees. De Montfort called a great council in 1258, where they forced the king to agree to the following terms. An updated great council of 15 barons that would be elected by 24 men, 12 of which from the king, the following 12 by the barons. French members of the royal household were to be banished along with their ownership of the castles, which were to be handed over to Englishmen only. Finally, each county would have a sheriff and taxes would be collected locally rather than nationally. These terms were called the Provisions of Oxford. The provisions of Oxford gave barons more power over the decision-making of the country than the king, at which Henry was not pleased with, as he could not rule without an agreement from the council. However, the barons were divided with the terms, as it went against the divine right of kings. Henry could see the divide between the force and refused to sign the provisions. As a result, barons in favour of the provisions asked de Montfort to lead an army against the king and his forces. During this civil war, the Baron army defeated the King's forces at the Battle of Luz and captured Henry and his son, Prince Edward. The monarchs were arrested and de Montfort was effectively in charge of the country. Under his leadership, he reissued the Magna Carta and provisions of Oxford and formed a secondary council made up of his friends and family. Barons soon thought that de Montfort was too powerful and turned against him. To increase his support, de Montfort asked merchants and knights from around the country to attend the Great Council. This was the first time that commoners were consulted on national matters and is regarded by historians as the first English Parliament. However, de Montfort called the Great Council without consulting the barons, and as a result, they were furious at him and believed that he was acting just as King John and Henry had done in the past. To combat de Montfort, the barons freed the king from prison and supported Henry in his campaign to restore the monarchy. The king, assisted by the barons who were led by Prince Edward, met de Montfort and his supporters at the Battle of Evesham, where the royal forces emerged victorious after the death of de Montfort in battle. Although the controls over the king were removed, the power of the commoners had been proven too great to ignore. Henry and his son Edward I continued to summon representatives of the counties to the parliaments.